on the tee from the USA, Johannes Wiermann. From last year's first win on the DP World Tour, quality player. Not quite but his brilliant best this year so far. Expected him to kick on after that win. It hasn't really done so, but he did have his first child. And I know he took some time away to be with mother and baby, so maybe that's slightly distracted him. But he's fully focused now and a good round yesterday of two under. Long hitter, so can carry those traps comfortably. Yeah, nice. That was high. Vim and long try for Birdie on the opening hole. Seventh in putting on tour. Beerman in the bunker that Donaldson was in off the tee. Good layup to this point. 125 left, all up to the flag. And this was a shot that he was struggling with on the range. He had a number of shots that he kept on pulling a long way left. Can't afford to pull it left here, otherwise he's in no man's land. Plenty of room right of this flag. Should be able to pitch it all the way there. Crowns would be good. It was good, but it's becoming less good by the minute. Too much spin on it. Putting reverse over hand grip this week. I don't think that's a grip that I've seen him use all that often. Got a new set of bats as well, but this is all about pace. Pace. Pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. Well, this boy is such a high ball player. A little bit down breeze too for him. Expect this into the stratosphere. It does get a lot of spin, so he may throw it well up. Right. Oh, I threw it all the way to the pin. Very brave. Should break left to right, but me may just straighten at the end a little. Once again, it's just one of those you just tickle. Hope you start on the right line, and it is the right line. That was the right line. Absolutely beautiful. Vim and long way to go at 289, but he really only needs to pitch this about 250, 255. So more likely is five wood here. Is he going with an iron? He is, yeah. Oh, he's going to hit the low chaser then. He's gone out of bounds, I think, with that one. Started straight drawing, wasn't it? Oh, it's close. He's very fortunate not to get a left bounce there. I thought that was surely going out of bounds. Well, he's obviously lived a pure life because you and I wouldn't get a, a break like that, would we? No, Richard? we'd be in the ask. Yes, but he's got a good lie. Judge the release perfectly. So difficult to try and figure out exactly how much run you're going to get when the ball lands when you're landing on these firm greens coming out of the rough. But a couple of occasions today he's done it to perfection. And safely in, he does do that. Five players now on four under par. But he can't afford to go left of that flag. Anything left there is water, so he's got to be in the middle of the green at the TV tower. Oh, I didn't get the bounce he needed. Oh. Wow, I thought he got that. 
a 20 year old and he, he nearly lost his thumb in a firework accident it was so badly damaged it had to be put back together with some extremely clever surgery and it inspired him to actually become a surgeon himself and he trained medically to take on that task and all the doctors that he was training with said look if we had the ability you had as a golfer we wouldn't be doctors we'd be golfers Well controlled from Johannes. He's thinking I'm going to make another birdie here. Beautifully read by Warren Humphreys and beautifully read by Johannes Verman, who moves to six under par his fifth birdie of the day he's starting to threaten the leader who's been there for an awfully long time on his own well if you get it in the middle of the green 20 feet left of the flag here you've probably played as good a shot as you can because you're going to try and cut one in hold it up into that right to left breeze but you don't want it to stall Sit. Oh, just. And we play the lottery this week, Johannes. <coughs> oh, well described by Warren Humphreys. It sounded like a nightmare and was. Hi, Jim. How are you now? Well, I've no idea what the lie's like, so I can't whip across the green, but it's probably holeable, this. Close. Coming out with some good calls, isn't he, Warren? He has, but it's run a good 10 feet past by the looks of it. No, two gone. Right there from Vera. I'll go at the green from there, I would have thought. Well, there you go. He laid up and Jamie didn't. Yeah. I have to say, I think Jamie thinks he needs birdie to have any chance of making the cut. Beerman off the downslope, 114 yards left to go. Pin well back. So he does get a lot of spin, doesn't have to worry about spinning it back down the slope as long as he pitches it well up to the hole. Whoa. Oh, straight in. Oh, he's holding it. Absolutely straight in. What an incredible eagle for yeah. Hannes Beerman. We were questioning the decision to lay up, but it looks like a good one now. And with that, he shoots 68. He leaps into a tie for second on five under par. It had been a bit of a sticky finish, but what a closing shot there from Johannes Beerman. Johannes, you started your second round with a birdie here at the Kazoo Open, but it's the way you finished. I think we want to hear most of that. Yeah. Um... Well, for those of you who don't know, I, I, I hold out for Eagle my last hole. Um, I hit a good drive on 18 and I was just caught in between yardages. You know, I, was, I go three wood and then a, a strong three iron and it's water short of the green. So I didn't actually quite have enough for my three iron and three wood was, was too much. So regrettably, I had to lay up. It was a tough decision to make, but then <laughs> looking back on it. Um, yeah, I hold out. I hit it. I flushed it. It had one bounce and then it disappeared and the pin's in the back so I thought it went long over the green into the swale and I just thought, no, you cannot go long. 
And then I heard a, yay! <laughs> I was going to say, because your Kelly looked in disbelief, like he didn't really quite understand yeah, what was yeah. going on. And you guys kind of met in a half sort of chest yeah, bump. Because, I mean, not that I hold all the time, but the, before when I hold out, there had been like proper yells and like, you know, it was jubilation. Um, but it was just a half-hearted cheer. So I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what. We didn't know that it went in until uh, Jordan turned around and said, it went in. <laughs> I know you wanted to get a few shots back after the middle of your back nine there. You got a nice round of applause there on 17. I think they enjoyed your shot more than the, the drinks back there. Yeah, no, it was good. 17 is a really hard tee shot. So to, to put the ball in the green, I, you know, was a, a big win, you know, and I'm sure that they liked it too. I loved it. I loved it. You know, it's such a hard shot. So I loved it. How are you liking the 2010 course here? I know it's been tough. A lot of guys have been getting a lot of momentum only to lose a shot or two through what seems no fault of their own. Yeah, the wind here, it swirls a lot. Um, I was talking to somebody, six, seven, and eight kind of go uh, parallel to each other. And I think today I played them into the wind on every single shot, you know. So the wind swirls around. Um, I think that causes a lot of uh, frustration, definitely some confusion out there. Um, so um, you're right, so no fault of their own. Um, just some, maybe a, a misjudge, but if you have good short game, you know, hopefully you can get up and down and eventually it'll catch up with you, but it's about just plugging along. You found yourself now going into the weekend just two shots behind Julian. What do you need to do to make sure you're still there come Sunday? Oh, I got to keep holding out. That's for sure. <laughs> I got to keep making it from the fairway. <laughs> no, I mean, just like I said, it's a it's a, it's a tricky course. You know, um, there's definitely a lot of penalizing shots out there. Um, so as long as I can keep the ball out in front of me, uh, misjudge my misses pretty well and have a good short game, I think I should be fine. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks, guys. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here and to subscribe. Click here.